Hello and welcome to another video of this Microsoft Power BI do-it-yourself tutorials. In this video we're going to talk about how to create ratios in DAX. Now please use the PBIX file which we have been using in the previous videos. In the previous video we talked about two types of calculations calculated columns and calculated measures in DAX. And also we created a calculated column for sales to cost ratio which is sales by cost and this is what we calculated. Please note that the calculation values were incorrect because if you divide sales by cost it should not be 6.20 and we saw that. Now let's create a new measure to do sales to cost ratio. Please note that this sales to cost ratio was a calculated column but we have to create a measure for ratios. The calculation as we saw was not correct so we need to create a measure calculation using this. So I'm going to create a sales to cost ratio measure and I'm going to copy this and paste it here. So I'm going to go to new measure here on top and I'm going to put here and then add this sales to cost ratio. You can see that this is the right value. So this is the measure calculation and this is the new column. So this is new measure and this one is new column and you can see that this is correct. Even the totals it's going to be 1.22 the ratio which is total sales upon cost is correct. Now one more property of new measure is that it depends on the layout that means this depends on the visualization which you are creating and it creates the measure calculation based on all the columns present in the view. So measure as I discussed in the previous video, it's not stored during the processing of the data. That means the load of data. It is calculated on the fly. So this calculation, which is a new column, is calculated during the data load time. But this column is not created during the data load time. It's calculated on the fly. So let's create a calculated column gross profit equals sales minus cost. Please remember that this is not a ratio and that is why we are going to use calculated column. You can do that in the measure as well but calculated columns tend to be faster because the values are already stored and created as I discussed earlier. So let's do that. Let's create a gross profit. So new column and I'm going to say gross profit sales minus cost so it's going to be sales please make sure that f sales is selected so sales minus cost please make sure when you're creating new column make sure that F sales is selected the so gross profit is sales minus cost I'm gonna replace this and I'm gonna say tick and I'm gonna add gross profit so you have the gross profit here and let me just put this date sale I don't want the date sale okay so I'm gonna add the gross profit over here and this is the profit which is the sales minus cost. Now let's create a calculated measure which is going to be gross profit margin. Please note that we are going to use sum of gross profit upon sum of sales. So let's take this and then create new measure. For new measures you don't have to worry where you are selected but at least for new column you have to select the table on which you want the calculation to lie. 
so I'm going to say sum of gross profit and sum of sales. So gross profit margin, the margin is going to be gross profit upon sales. Profit upon sales is profit margin. So let's do that or we will say profit to sales ratio okay and you're gonna say okay and then add this so this is profit gross profit to sales ratio all right so in the next set of videos we're gonna focus on creating iterators sum x and then we'll create ytd mtd and the other time dimension stuff now let's do the following hands-on exercises it's a good time for you to pause this video and understand what we have done in this video and then start with hands-on exercises so to so download the file for the data from this location this is the google drive location here use the same pbix file which we have been using earlier for f underscore shipment then create a calculated column known as freight which will be 10 percent of the shipment price and then you create tax which would be 25 percent of this shipment price a question to ponder over is would you use calculated column or calculated measure for these calculations thank you for watching